April, thank you very much. As we continue to track Tropical Storm Barry, we're checking in with area parish leaders to see how they're preparing for the storm. Yeah, we just mentioned evacuation orders in St. John Parish earlier. Joining us now from St. John the Baptist Parish is President Natalie Robottom. Thank you for joining us. How are you guys to make it out, out there? Now we're continuing to prepare. We want our residents to continue to prepare. I'd like to first start by uh, encouraging our residents, if they have not, signed up for our parish emergency alerts to do so. Go to our parish website at sjbparish.com and click Stay Connected. That is our official source of information. We also put information on our Facebook page at St. John the Baptist Parish, so please follow the parish and make sure that you're staying current with what's happening in St. John. And you guys have a voluntary evacuation order in effect. Can you go over the areas impacted by that? Yes, um, we experience problems with Lake Pontchartrain on a regular basis. And since Wednesday, the lake is up two and a half feet. So we've asked that those residents consider a voluntary ac evacuation. And that's at Key Vine and Premier Landing and, of course, Acres. Those are all areas closer to the lake. Um, Pleasure Bend sits on Lake Desalman, so we're also uh, issuing a voluntary evacuation for that area as well. But what we do know is uh, this is a different event. In addition to being concerned about storm surge in Lake Pontchartrain, we're concerned about rainfall. And they're predicting about 15 to 20 inches of rain, even if it's over several days. That's problematic for us. And if your area or you live in an area that floods when we have extensive rainfall, then we're asking you to consider uh, a voluntary evacuation as well. Yeah, you guys did have a lot of flooding in Isaac. I think we have video of that. What have you guys done to improve since then? Unfortunately, you know, our levee is under construction, which is what would help us with Lake Pontchartrain. But St. John sits in a very vulnerable position. Uh, we're concerned about the river, um, which is also uh, a concern for lots of people along the river. Now, you know, we're not as uh, in jeopardy as St. Bernard and New Orleans, but the river is high. Uh, it's been high since October. Mm -hmm. The spillway is open, so therefore the, the water from the river is being pushed into Lake Pontchartrain that is also being filled with rainwater and, of course, uh, storm surge. So that puts us in a vulnerable position with regard to uh, rainfall, again, uh, storm surge, and, of course, the Mississippi River. So we're asking residents, one, to make preparations if you're going to leave. We encourage you to do so early because we're starting to get a little uh, wind gust and uh, some minor drizzling. But if you're going to stay, to be prepared. Um, although it's not a significant wind event, uh, there may be power outages, so expect to be out of power um, for at least two to three days. I have spoken with representatives from Energy, and they are bringing in crews to restore power as quickly as possible. However, you know, we just are unsure of whether or not uh, we'll lose power, so residents need to be prepared in the event that there is a power outage. All right, and it's not ideal that your levees are under construction during hurricane season. Um, actually, the levee project's been underway for 45 years oh, and okay. was recently funded, and, <laughs> and, and that's disturbing mm -hmm. because it wasn't until Hurricane Isaac and our entire parish flooded that there was some action on it. However, yeah. it is fully funded. They are uh, in process of constructing it. It should be completed in uh, 2024 because it's a major uh, wow. construction project, 18 miles of levees and floodgates. However, in the interim, we remain vulnerable. We are bordered by Lake Pontchartrain and Lake Maurepas. Uh, and of course, you know, there's storm surge associated with, with both, and it affects both. However, the somewhat good news is the track has, has shifted to the west somewhat. So we're hoping uh, to not get the brunt of uh, this tropical storm or hurricane if it, when it um, hits land. Sure, we're all hoping the same thing. Natalie Robottom with St. John the Baptist Parish, thank you so much for joining us this morning, and please check in with us over the next few days. We want to remind everyone, if you're in that parish, head over to the website sjbparish.com, as President Natalie Robottom just told us. Thank you.